map, flat map, map values, transform, what's the difference? This is what we're going to learn today in Programming with Mati. Welcome! Let's start with the map operation. This operation creates a new stream transforming records one to one, and this is how it looks like. As you know, in Kafka, every record is composed by a key and a value. The map operation can transform the key and the value. And in this case, the map operation is transforming the triangle into a square and the circle into a pentagon. This is a stateless operation, but because it can change the value of the key, this will trigger a repartition. And this is something we want to avoid, because triggering a repartition in Kafka streams means creating an internal topic in which the data will be redistributed among all the different Kafka Streams applications. This is how a repartition would look like in Kafka Streams. You have the main topology, and when you have a repartition triggered by a map operation, it creates an intermediate topic that then is read again by the topology and the process continues. As you can see, this is an input and output exhaustive operation. So it's better if we can avoid it. And why do we have repartitions in the first place, you may ask? This is because of how Kafka works. By now you must know that every Kafka record has a key and a value. And Kafka assigns every key to a particular partition, so that it can preserve the order of the messages for a given key. And this is an excellent feature that is used by Kafka streams. Because every instance of a Kafka streams application is actually a consumer inside a consumer group, every message for the same key is processed in order. But when we apply the map operation, if we transform the keys, we can end up with mixed up keys. So to avoid this issue, what Kafka Streams will do is it will create a new topic and it will put the new records with new keys in the new topic, which is internal, and it will redistribute the load by using the Kafka Streams consumer group abstraction. Because this operation incurs into input and output tasks, that's why we avoid it in our tutorials and we instead use map values. This is a very similar operation, but instead of allowing you to transform the full record, it only allows you to transform the values of the record, keeping the key intact. This avoids repartitioning. It's very similar to map, but it won't allow us to change the key. We can read it and we can use it in our transformation, but we cannot change it. This avoids repartition and it's very useful to optimize our Kafka Streams application. If we go back to our voice command tutorial, we can see how we use map values to transform the speech into text and also how we use it to translate non-English messages. If you haven't seen the voice command parser tutorial yet, I really encourage you to take a look at it. I will put a tag in this video so that you can follow it and you can go directly into that video. It's a very interesting tutorial in which you will be able to understand stateless operations in Kafka streams. A similar operation to map is flat map. This allows us to transform a record into zero or more records. But you might be more familiar with the version that we used in our first tutorial, which is called flat map values. This also allows us to transform a record into multiple records, but it also doesn't change the key, avoiding repartition. And this is how it looks like. In our first tutorial, we use the flat map values operation to split the sentence into multiple words so that we can count every appearance of that word in our stream. We use the string split function to do this. Flatmap is a stateless operation. It allows us to transform the key and the values completely. It triggers a repartition on key changes and it can even return zero records. Flatmap values is also stateless, but it will only allow you to transform the value. It never triggers a repartition because of this and it can also return zero records. Here's how we use the flat map values in our word count tutorial. As you remember, we were reading a stream of sentences and here we are splitting it into multiple words by applying the string split operation. We also apply the to lowercase method 
so that we could count words with different cases. Then we group them by the value, which was the word, and finally we counted the appearances of that word. So An operation that we haven't discussed yet is one called transform. We actually haven't used this one in any of our tutorials, and the reason why it's because it uses the processor API, which we haven't really spoken about. This operation allows us to transform a record into zero or multiple records using a stateful operations. Transform and transform values are a bridge between the high level DSL API and the processor API. It can be either stateless or stateful. Transform allows us to change the key, meaning that it can trigger a repartition. Transform values doesn't change the key, so it avoids repartition. And both of them can return zero or multiple records. In this case, we have a function that transforms circles into squares and pentagons. And it can also count the appearances of a given color. The red circle appears twice, so the last two square and pentagons have the number two in them. And this is possible because the transform operation can be linked to a data store. The data store is where we can store the state of our stateful operations in Kafka streams. This is a very important concept that we haven't really seen yet because we haven't touched upon stateful operations, but we will do so in our next tutorials. We currently don't have any tutorials on the processor API, but in the future we will have some and we will discuss more about this transformation operation. What you should know about this operation is that it used for very specific and special use cases. You should try to avoid it and use map or flat map or map values or flat map values at all costs. But if you really need to use this, then it's a tool that Kafka Streams provides. So to sum up, for one-to-one -one transformations, you have to use map values unless you need to change the key as part of the transformation. Then you should use map. But remember, it will trigger a repartition. Now, if you want to do a one-to-many transformation, then you have to use flat map values. Again, unless you want to change the key as part of the transformation, then you have to use flat map, remembering that it will also trigger a repartition. Finally, if you want to do a more complex transformation or you need access to the processor API, then you have to use the transform operation. But this you should avoid as much as you can because it's a complex way of operating Kafka streams. And in the description of this video, you will find links to the GitHub repositories with the tutorials where we use the map values and the flat map values operations. And you will also find the videos in which we use them as a tutorial. So if you have any doubts on how to use these operations, then just visit those videos and you will find all the information you need there. And don't worry because we are going to still use these operations in many of our tutorials because they are widely used in any data streaming application. Also, have you visited my GitHub site yet? In there you can see more information about Kafka streams and you will have links to all the tutorials and everything that we are learning on this series of videos. I encourage you to go there and read all the documentation and I also encourage you to start reading Kafka Streams own documentation in the official Kafka Streams page so that you can see a lot of information on how to configure your Kafka Streams application and many other concepts that we are going to be using in our tutorials. This is all for now. I hope these explanations were clear for you and that it has helped you understand better the differences between map, flat map, and transform. If you like this video, I hope it's not too much to ask you to smash the like button, that really helps me, and also subscribe to the channel and give me some feedback on the comments so I can know which videos are useful for you. I'll be seeing you in my next videos. Bye!